Music, singing, and dancing are common to most floor shows, but in this one, people are playing supportive roles to cards. This is a new car preview, Detroit style. Ford Motor Company's Lincoln Mercury Division created the extravaganza in Detroit's Cobo Arena as part of the formal unveiling of its new line of 79 models. The spectacular production mixed unique choreography with some deft on-stage driving. Automotive reporters from around the country were wooed to Detroit for this event in a move by Ford to generate nationwide publicity for its new product line. Some of the models have not changed, like the Lincoln and Continental Mark V, which entered 1979 as the last two large production cars made in America. But the big news, as far as automotive reporters were concerned, was a totally new Mercury Capri, which shares basic design with Ford's new Mustang, and a completely redesigned Mercury Marquis, which shares its downsized body with Ford's LTD. It was colorful and it was entertaining, but this national Ford press preview was more than just a show, more than just cars to look at. Here at the Ford Motor Company Proving Ground in Dearborn, reporters were given a chance to ride and drive the 79 Lincoln Mercury products. Ford Motor's biggest capital investment this year was in the downsizing of its large Mercuries and Fords. The marquee for 79 is 17 inches shorter than its 78 counterpart and 800 pounds lighter, all in the interest of better fuel efficiency. If all this sounds familiar, it should. General Motors has already downsized most of its large cars. It almost seems that you're playing catch-up with General Motors. They did this a couple of years ago. Uh, is this the case? No, I don't think it's catch-up. They have their product cycles and their product plans. We have ours. We did not downsize the marquee until 1979. However, we did sell every uh, marquee that this company could build in this 1978 model year. So you don't think it was a mistake in any way to, to wait these two years to downsize the Mercury and to uh, keep the Lincoln big? Not at all. I think it was good uh, product planning on the company's part and I think we paced ourselves just right. The unveiling of a new car is the culmination of years of planning. I recently spent a week in the Detroit area, along with photographers Randy Levine and Al Sunshine, getting a first-hand look not only at how automobiles are put together, but at how they are styled and tested. In an upcoming week-long series beginning in October, you will see why automakers are building plastic models of their cars at $100,000 a crack. We'll show how five years of rust can be created on a car in four months, and while most thoughts now are on the 79 models, we will show you exclusive shots of 1980 cars, like this front-wheel drive 1980 Pontiac Phoenix. Bob Mayer, Channel 4 News, Detroit.